Welcome back to the Stash Club Wrestling Podcast. My name is John. My name is Dante. Welcome back, welcome, folks. Welcome. What's going on? Hello. How are we? I feel like it's been a, I feel like it's been a minute. It's been since a week. We all, since we all chatted. It's been a week. Some weeks seem longer than others, though. Right. Like, I remember like two weeks ago, we kind of got on here and I was like, I feel like we just talked. This week, I'm like, I feel like we haven't chatted about wrestling in a, a long time. We haven't sat time. down in a little bit. You know a lot I mean? of stuff has happened. A lot of stuff has happened. Yeah. Like in the wrestling world? Yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. time. A um, few things. We got we, we got a lot to go over, but, but. I got a I got a alert for you. <laughs> alert alert for you and alert for everyone listening. This episode, <laughs> this episode, chill vibes episode. Woo! Yeah. There yeah. is nothing I love more than a chill everyone, vibe episode. Everyone look out. <laughs> everyone take a breather. Everyone sit look back. Out. Stretch your arms. Chill about we might not even talk about wrestling. We might, you know. <laughs> who um, says we have to? We're a wrestling podcast, but what up uh 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 let's start what how how are just, we what's just the, let us know how you are i'm asking you how oh, are me? we what's oh, the, I, well, what'd you do this weekend anything what? anything to report i did go to a concert exciting? i did go to a concert this weekend mm-hmm. on saturday uh wild rivers wild if rivers. there are any wild river fans in there um i wasn't before the show uh yeah, knew you one song by them um and there was the last song they performed <laughs> of their entire set oddly mm-hmm. enough um, but yeah, super cool. <laughs> Oddly fun. enough, it was yeah. probably their hit. Of course, <laughs> it was. Play it last. <laughs> yeah, it's like start it up and start off with the everyone going. But no, it was uh, it was a great time. Uh, just like a nice like low key type of type of vibe, like nothing crazy, chill music. Oh yeah. Um, Saturday, fun. I spent. I mean, just like I'm sure everyone else spent all day watching football. Uh, stressing mm-hmm. over my fantasy football team. Yeah, all my four fans. of my teams. Actually, did I win? I won last week, so I'm I'm, I'm in the money. I I'm went clear. I went two and two in my four leagues. Okay. Uh, one of my leagues I won by uh, five points, and another one I lost by over hundred. Do you have one that like you care about? Like one that's like yeah, your number one. 100 I think you yeah, need 100%. that. Hundred okay. percent. No, it's my league, my hometown league. We do like a punishment and stuff at the end. Oh, of the year you too. told me about and this. And we yeah, do yeah, like yeah. It's, I think the buy ins 150. Oh wow. So it's like we we've been doing it for almost ten allegedly. years now. <laughs> allegedly, we've been doing it for almost ten years now so we take it a uh, it's a lot of like um you know trash talking sure you know some pride over others when you get a win but um actually speaking yeah. of speaking of sports legal sports gambling yes uh forgot to mention it before we get too deep in the episode i do want to mention this episode is brought to you by us uh, <laughs> do want to mention that this episode is brought to you by draft king hell yeah we're gonna hear more from them later in the show Gamble also responsibly also while we're here um uh, 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 shop.clutchpoints.com brains moving a little slow today chill vibes episode chill vibes shop.clutchpoints.com it's in the description we have some brand new merch please Ooh. get these t-shirts out of our hands get, uh, we don't want we would anymore. we don't we want you to have we them. want you guys and to koozies have and there's also like leftover like hats and shit yeah. so uh, what else was well, patreon oh oh my god patreon.com <laughs> is so hopefully much- you guys stick around long enough to get to these plugs patreon.com slash task and wrestling today this is today's free episode if you mm-hmm. want this episode ad free as well as the bonus episode we're going to record after this we're doing more chit chat and head over there for your bonus content it's like a second episode a week you yeah, get dude I, I love chit chat and i love ad free stuff so exactly. it sounds like a great deal but all right we'll get i didn't mean to i kind of i kind of no. saw the i kind of saw the plug opportunity <laughs> like, oh and, shit and took it it's I a, forgot it's about a chill it. vibe episode the brains are at like 50 60 big time, percent big so time. but yeah no uh opening weekend for football you know it's mm. it's best time of the year football's back basketball's gonna be back next month hockey's gonna be back next month patriots won somehow patriots Let's won go. great win for them great Let's first go. win for gerard mayo and uh, that new coaching staff so yeah good good stuff good oh, stuff yeah. happening uh i went to i went to the red sox game i saw you po- i saw you dun, on a post dun, of that dun, dun, dun. you know what Duh, I mean? red sox how was that I had a ball yeah had a good time red sox games are fun i mm-hmm. i love baseball games in general me like, too say what you want about the sport of it sure. like a being you could say it's boring this that slow being at the game though is like a completely different vibe it was one because it was like you know it was a oh, the tickets, it was a tuesday cheap? night I'll, 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 I'll give you the whole okay, lay of the land the whole rundown. it was a tuesday night yep so uh one i mean also it's the red Sox right now so like not crazy not tickets. great man like, a tuesday 35 bucks a piece oh you know come on we were you maybe paid more for hot dogs in there paid more for parking they yeah uh, that too. we we sat right field and like you're pretty low in the bleachers yeah. so we're like pretty like low like ground level mm-hmm. almost you know yeah i um, saw i saw your your story it looked like you, we had, you had it was great seats good time and what what i liked about it we just it was me and a couple of buddies we strolled it on a tuesday mm-hmm. and it was like got a couple of beers yep and the seats we're in it's not like we're behind home plate so it's not like we're like locked in every play it was like we were just hanging out and chilling and there's a baseball and there game happened going to be on. the red sauce game on and then every now and again you kind of 
pay attention and you know have you ever gone to the bar that's like in fenway it's like bleacher bleacher, bleacher bar? bar yeah have you been there before i went there for uh which i'll never do it again <laughs> i went there for a halloween bar crawl yes i also have been there i've been there multiple times but i've been there for halloween hmm. oh yeah bar- so we went to the, yeah, same, we bar went to the right, same bar crawl. right right I don't right know if we were at that bar at the same time no we but, weren't but like um, yeah no so like when you go in i'm sure you know this but like in the back it's like gated but it's like you're in the outfield yeah they open up the the windows yeah. right so it's you're sick. like right you're yeah. like in the game essentially i've never been there well, don't they when there's a game going on don't they close it no oh no, I heard, i've been there when the oh. game's actively going on i heard maybe they change i've heard in the past that they would close it because like they're like or like i forget who was mad but someone was mad so it was like oh well, these people didn't pay tickets to go to fenway you know what i mean shut up no i think no That's last the year of it you know i think it was last summer we went and it was there was a game going on oh that's and sick we were there. yeah no it is cool. it is cool but yeah no um baseball games are fun man i think mm. baseball they changed um like the pitch count like not pitch count oh, pitch it clock went fast dude it goes by so much faster Which, like, now to be honest i like if i was sitting at home like watching it i'd be like hell yeah but i was like i could have been there all night yeah so i was like let's slow I, this it's down kinda, a little like, bit it's let's better slow. for like casual viewers <laughs> yeah. on television but like spending time at a ballpark yeah. it, it cuts out like 30 another 30 45 yeah. minutes but I'll, I'll i'll tell you this move i think i think okay. i like this again tuesday rolled in with some friends uh i had the idea i was like it's a tuesday we paid 35 bucks for tickets. We're not trying to see every... We don't need to see every pitch. Right. And also, I don't like, you know, waiting in line with the crowds and whatever. Like, if, I, if I'm... Even if I'm going to, like, a, you know, a WWE show or a Dynamite or whatever, I get there, like... Like... Right before. Right before. Start. So, like, so like gates have been open for an hour. What was the game? You know, like, 7 or something like that? Seven ten. Yeah. We get there. We park. Find parking. Um, or parking. Pay over. Pay $60 park in a garage. Yeah, that's, um, that's Boston hit trillium the outside mm, spot you know what i'm yeah, talking about yeah, yeah. hit the outside mm-hmm. spot for a little pre-show pre-game nice. beer had that beer strolled over walk yep. in second inning is maybe like we're in the second inning mm-hmm. stroll in find our seats and i'll tell you we we get to our seats and we're like oh hell yeah da, da. i think it was the uh the bottom of the second we got to our seats and yep. we were there for not five minutes orioles were up some dude, some some fucking bird on the on the Orioles because they're the Orioles are yeah, a bird. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Um, home run. We're looking at it. We're like, whoa! Again, we're there for no no more than five minutes. We're looking at. It, we're like, that oh, ball's getting awfully close. <laughs> it's like it was like a movie. It was happening in slow motion, yeah. and it kept coming. And we're like, wow, that's really close. Oh fuck! And we it. I swear to God, my reaction time, I'm, I'm man enough to admit, <laughs> it caught me off guard. So my first, It always does. My first instinct wasn't to catch it. Yeah. My first instinct was, was to not move. get hit in the yeah, face. Because uh-huh. it hit, I moved where I was standing. If I didn't move, I would have hit in the face with it. Because <laughs> I, I took like a step over so it wouldn't hit me. And the ball hit where I was standing, That's swear to God. crazy. And then the second it hit, the three of us were like, why didn't we fucking try to catch it? So it bounced. It hit the. It hit it went the somewhere. It hit else. the ground. Took a bad bounce. Went maybe like. And at that time, we're all like <laughs> trying yeah, to grab it. Yeah, yeah. Went Everyone's maybe going. like four, four or five rows up, and someone else got it. And whatever. Who um, hit it? Do you know? It was an Orioles player, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So which, if it was a Red Sox player, I would have been be, more yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm I mean? Curious. Um. Yeah. It was the. It was a home run. I think it was at the top. Is it the top of the third or the bottom of the second? Okay. I forget which. Right. I want to say top of the third. Now I'm thinking about Let's it. See. Let's um, see. Oh yeah, it was. Um, yeah, top of the third. It was Cedric Mullins. He hit two home runs this game. Actually, mm. he hit one in the first and third. You missed his first home. Missed run. the first one. Yeah. Cool. Was that was that is that a ball I should have got? Who's no, this guy? I wouldn't have, nah, I don't know much about Cedric Mullins yeah. personally. But I mean, if it was a, is good, if it was a Red Sox ball, I would have been kicking been myself. But, for that shit. but yeah. for the whole game, again, it's, like, it's me and my two buddies, and we're kind of all just sitting there, and we're like, "Why did like, we hit you catch after, that yeah. ball? Like, what? Like, we're like, what? Hey, what no, we? In the in real time, though, that in my defense, that coming at you as fast as it is, it's coming so fucking fast. I didn't have a glove. I've seen <laughs> videos like like recent weeks. There was someone that got fucking nailed. That's in the, the head thing. With I'm not trying to get. Like, if not, I here's what would have happened. I don't think it's like a 
Like it's not one of those Strong things where it's reaction. gonna it's not gonna hurt you for a long time, but it, when it hits you, like it's gonna hurt. You know I've, what I mean? I've, like it's not a serious injury, but I've gotten a shiner before. You know, missing the ball pop oh, up. I, and I, me, I wouldn't. I mean? I'd be. I'd also be afraid of trying to catch and then failing miserably and thinking and of it's all on the cameras. Camera. Yep, 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 yep. Forget about so it. I, My reputation's ruined. It, <laughs> it, it was coming, and it was so like it wasn't even like I would have to move to catch it. Like if I had to catch it. I would have been catching it like in my face. That's crazy. And so, <laughs> so what would you have, have glasses happened? Glasses on too. You have to protect right. the glasses. What would have happened was I would have went to catch it. It was going. It would have came, went out of my hands. It would have hit me right in the face. Is exactly what would have happened. So I, <laughs> in the moment, I was, I knew that was going to happen. I, so I was like, you know what? Let me just. I'll and you just know, step personally, to the side. I'll say it. I love having seats that are like behind, like the home plate or like yeah. first third base, because there's a netting, and <laughs> there the chances of something like that happening are so slim. Like right. I don't want to catch a ball. I don't want to be in a situation right. where I might be able to catch a ball because one, I'm worrying about missing it and being embarrassed, or mm-hmm. two, getting absolutely just like like a foul ball. Yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. walking or something. Or like you're, sure. I'm like looking at you and the ball. Boom! Like right. Like, oh, the worst. Every Why time, would I want that? Every to happen? time after that, we'd be in like conversation or whatever, and like the ball would hit. We'd be like, just to make You're sure it wasn't. You know when I mean? you go to a baseball game, you are at risk of getting hit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you always I, uh, have to keep your head on a swivel. I want to go again before the season's over. I want to sit in the Green Monster though. I've never, I've sat, never, I've never sat, sat in the Green Monster. It seems I've sick. gone to a ton of games, and never yeah. sat in the Green Monster. But uh, yeah, man, there's like a my, month left of games, so we'll see. That's eh, my, maybe not. That's my night. It's a month and a half, I think. Maybe I think like that? well, that's because like playoffs and stuff, but they're um, not they're not making playoffs. Let's see how hey, many games. I said my, my buddy was oh lost a <laughs> let's just swear to God lost a DraftKings bet. Stop. Swear to God. Hey, I, in a sponsored episode. I know too. five dollars stash or whatever the <laughs> whatever the deal awful. is that we're giving everyone. Awful. Um, <laughs> it <laughs> was I was kicking my friend's ass because he was like we did. 20 bucks seat so 60 dollars total yeah we would have won like 800 something bucks if the red Sox. it was it was a three-leg parlay kind of learn what those were hits a home run no no, no i'm sorry sorry red Sox win yeah um I'm, I'm not i don't remember the names but one guy hits a home run mm-hmm. and then another guy has to just get two hits red Sox player red Sox I'm players assuming, yeah didn't get close to any of those. Red Sox didn't. They lost 5-3, I Red, saw, Sox, so. Red Sox lost. Guy, The guy that he Rafi hit two Devers? hit one. Was he one of those? Devers needed two. He was one of them. Okay. I think he needed to hit the homer. I'm thinking you're... I'm thinking you bet Devers and maybe Jalen Duran. I think that's what it was. Two, yeah, I think two that's hits what it was. Or whatever the two was. Yeah. He was... I think Duran was the guy that had it. That hits. makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, we didn't didn't nail it. But we. I was... Hey, it's a learning. Second, second we placed that bet... I was married to that eight hundred dollars. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm gonna get a you're souvenir. Coming home with me. Yeah, you're coming home. With I was like, me. this is an easy money. You can buy bet. yourself a sweatshirt with, with that money. Yeah, let me, let me put twenty bucks down. Fuck it. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, in a way though, fun Tuesday. Like I said, I want to. I want to go. Yeah, you though. You know? fall like late summer, early fall baseball games. Mm-hmm. Like man. It's a shame that it ends. I mean, like, I get it. It ends in o- late October, early November um, because it gets winter time and it's going to start snowing. But, right. man, that's the best time for a game. I brought a sweatshirt, too. So by the you time never know. The seventh inning came around, so I get a little chilly. Pop Love that, that sucker on. Love that. You know? Love that. Yeah, that's my little. Minutes in? Let's it's a chill vibes episode. It's a chill vibes episode. I guess we could talk about wrestling. We have the SCW Predictions Championship mm. to talk about. Mm. I counted up my points. Need to my, you might need to A, get the belt, and then two, um, I should have warned you before. I didn't really realize. Um, you already know I didn't count up my points. I think, so, I think, I don't know. Don't tell you me might we have, tied. I don't know. No, I don't know if we tied. I My guess is that you won. All right. Do you need me? Let's what do you, go what do you over need? the results and stuff like that. So Here, I let can me tally. AEW all out. I hope this is really suspenseful. Oh, not 2023, 2024. I kind of, uh, in this like little Zoom thing, you have to like set the date or whatever. Mm. I got kind of tripped out because I was like, well, it's not 2022 anymore. <laughs> um, not. Okay. All right. I'll go over these real quick. Okay. Um, did we do. We didn't do the tag match. We didn't do the tag match. We didn't do the trios match. Not we didn't do the other trios match. No, we didn't do any of the. Pre-show. Oh Jesus! We uh, only did eight matches. Big pre-show. Okay. All right. MJF defeated Daniel. Yep. Uh, Bucks defeat Blackpool Combat Club. Yep. Will Osprey defeated Pac. Mm-hmm. Statlander defeated Nightingale. Statlander won. Correct. Okay. Yep. Um, Okada won. Yep. 
Mercedes Monet one. Yep. Brian Danielson one. Yep. Hangman Adam Page one. Okay. That, so, which that's the one I'm nervous so about. So I had everyone but MJF. Ooh, oh Garcia. wow. Oh, so you probably. All right. So let's yeah, do ta- some tally them up. But it's looking, it's looking like. Oh yeah, and this is mine. I and, forgot. Uh, <laughs> this is mine. Um, yeah, and hold that it. Was, hold it for the next. Few and that minutes. was my one too. So it's really just. All right. Let's. Do I got it. a few wrong. Let's get my calculator out here. Get the calc out. So it's basically calc is short for calculator chat. Just so I'm, yeah, I'm, right, two I'm using slang. Plus three plus four. Oh my plus god. Five plus <laughs> oh my six god. plus seven plus eight. Okay, I have my score. Think that QB will throw for more than three hundred yards? How about that receiver in Miami grabbing a touchdown? Check out DraftKings Pick Six, the newest way to compete against others and play fantasy football to win cash on DraftKings. Pick a player and choose if they'll have more or less of a specific stat, like yards, touchdowns, catches, and more. Get your picks right and you'll win cash. Download the new DraftKings Pick 6 app today and use code STASH. That's code STASH for new customers to play $5 and get $50 back in Pick 6 credits guaranteed. Plus, one month of NFL Plus Premium on us. Offer expires 9-19. Only on DraftKings Pick 6. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Help is available for gambling problems. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org in Connecticut. Must be 18 plus. Age and eligibility restrictions vary by jurisdiction. Pick 6 is not available everywhere, including New York and Ontario. Void where prohibited. See terms at pick6.draftkings.com slash promos. One per new customer. Reward issued as $50 in non-withdrawable Pick 6 credits that expire in six months. NFL Plus Premium Offer is only available to new and former NFL Plus subscribers. Additional NFL Plus Premium terms at nfl.com slash terms. Now back to the video. 35. Beaten by two points. Wow. I had, I had 33. Yeah, Garcia it was. was um, and I, I think I originally had MJF too. That was the one that I oh, did you switch? originally had something and I switched it because I was so 50-50 on it. Garcia probably should have won. Because I had, I had Swerve winning mm, that's right and i had you also had garcia but i mean we both it was also the point difference as well yeah what was your how many points did you have two for that was my I hangman one, one yeah, and yeah, garcia yeah. was out. my one you being my two points that checks out yes yeah, i also right i also had garcia right right okay yeah. okay that checks out well Dante, all right congratulations you have won back very quickly very quickly. the stash club wrestling what am i defending this thing uh, for <laughs> championship yeah isn't it uh is it the next wwe one wrestle dream is in october but bad blood. That's first weekend of October. So bad blood. Yeah, bad blood. Bad, right. bad I think blood. It's October fifth. Bad blood. Twenty twenty four. That card shaping up. We'll talk about that. No, October fifth. October fifth. Saturday. All right. I'll see you October fifth. Where are they having that? Where's the State Farm Arena? Uh, Atlanta. Oh, right. With the Metro booming yeah. and all the ads. Metro. And, yeah, yeah, I love yeah. how they were doing like all the um. Like the promo stuff is a like Cody Rhodes and Metro, and Cody might not even be on the card. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> um, okay. All right. First order of business. Like I said, chill vibes episode. We're gonna start chill. out. Um, I don't know this is what there even is to discuss here, but it's it's but important to make note of it because it was an era, and it's now an end of an era. SmackDown will be premiering on the USA Network and leaving Fox. Peace it is the out, end of Fox. the Fox era. It is no longer 2019. Bye, Fox. Um, good run i'd say yeah they had a solid run uh awful start uh brock lesnar squashed kofi yeah and then uh fuck i can't even think of his name the ufc guy came in Mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. oh man why was it wasn't kane Kane velasquez oh was him velasquez and he is uh in prison currently because i think oh goodness no it was like uh someone was doing some awful stuff to his his daughter his family member or something like that and he tried killing the guy Whoa, yeah. i didn't hear any of yeah that. this was years Whoa. ago i think he's still in prison i i, I might be wrong there but wow. regardless uh yeah tough start they had some highs they had some lows but you know uh i mean uh, definitely like you know the bloodline stuff was the highlight of course you know um you know it, it, you know they obviously the pandemic stuff right. was you can only do so much there. They they did what they could, but you know every uh, every chapter comes to an end at some point. Yeah, and you know I bet mm-hmm. USA Network it's a new era. You know with just everything now with WWE Triple H leading leading the charge. I think this could be 
Uh, you know, a great era for WWE. And even with, like, um, you know, how everyone's like, oh, when Raw moves to Netflix, everyone's going to say swears and ever, which I don't think is true. But I don't think it's going to be as extreme as people might it's not. imagine. Like, they're but, not gonna, I've been seeing, like, TikToks and video being like, first Raw, it's like, Seth Rollins <laughs> introduced a Seth fucking yeah, yeah. Raw. It's like, no, that's that's not going to happen. Um, But USA isn't a network channel. So, like, rules are a little less stingent than they are sure. over at Fox. So, yeah. like... Fox was always bad with, like, like if the crowds were Oh, my God. Sun, they would mute they would half mute the show. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not... Yeah, USA Network isn't as anal as that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that'd be fun. The, 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 the premiere is looking exciting. They announced... Uh, Cody and Solo. Right, in a steel cage, cage match. right? Yep, 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 yep. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's pretty cool for like the next month or so or two months or whatever. They make a big deal or out of it. I guess basically till January, we're getting... Um, or I don't know when NXT is going to CW. But I think that's next month. Okay. It's next month. Either I way, think. for a little bit, we're getting Raw, SmackDown, and NXT on USA. Yeah. Crazy. Pretty cool. Crazy, crazy. Pretty cool. Um, I did hear rumors... This is all just like like Twitter shit. But uh, someone reported that AEW did have talks with Fox. Yes. So apparently they filed a trademark. I think it's called AEW Shockwave. It might For be like a, a new, new show. Sh no. And apparently there's been talk of doing like an hour long thing or just whatever. move dynamite to Fox or just get rid of like Rampage or something like that. Holy shit. Rampage is it's still, a still on. a thing. They like. Listen, all credit to Tony Khan, AEW, for building this company from mm -hmm. the ground up and being in a position where you could have this many television deals and right. shows. I just... For... <laughs> might be a little I, too much. Credit where credit's due. I I hear good things about Collision. Like, I hear Collision has some good stuff. I just don't I'm happen not, to watch I'm it. I'm not trying to shit on a Saturday night. I have a few other priorities. It's a Saturday night... And also, like, I'm already watching. It sucks to. I'm not complaining, but it's There's like already I a do, lot of other hey, wrestling. On, on, on the Patreon, we talk about movies. I love to watch a movie every we now have, and again, or we, hang out with some we friends. We like doing things outside you know? or watching wrestling. And sometimes I'll even miss stuff during the week. We're like, like I'll miss like a SmackDown, mm -hmm. and I'll catch up with that on the Friday or Sunday. Right. Um. But like, especially with now, I'm paying more attention to NXT. Mm -hmm. So that means I got you got. Uh, Monday, be, being a dead Tuesday, horse here, Wednesday, but, Friday, right? So it's like, and then Thursday, Thursday, like this is my whole day of like editing, whatever. Um, but like, I don't know. But regardless, I didn't know that that they were thinking about potentially a fourth show on Fox. I would, I would have assumed. Well, that's kind of the rumor. It could be like, but also maybe not a wrestling show per se, but maybe like something else. But or I'd imagine unless it's them moving Dynamite to Fox and have to rename it because the whole thing is their TV deals. Up. Right. I don't right. know if there's correlation between the two. Yeah. Though, because they, the thing with Warner Brothers, which is also, I don't. There, I'm assuming I, the rumor is they're going to make an announcement within the next few weeks or a month about a yeah. TV deal, or whatever. It's not confirmed or anything. I but think they'll they'll be fine. They'll get something. That, listen again. Credit. It's amazing seeing a company like AEW again, and within five years being in a position right. where we have the opportunity to do that. Like that's insane. Like that's crazy. Right. But I also am a guy that's like quality over quantity. Sure. Like, I'd rather have two quality shows than four where it's, like, mm -hmm. one of them is good, one of them's, like, okay, and then the other two are, like, again, like, we forget Rampage is even a thing. And it's, like, 10 o'clock on a Friday. The time slots are, are kind of rough, too. This must-see TV is, yes. what you're, is what you're talking yeah. about. You and, know? and I don't so think like, every show, I don't know if the like show would be A must Rampage see. isn't must-see. Right. You know, I do think a Dynamite is. Like, I still yes, tune in I for every single that. Dynamite. Mm -hmm. Dynamite is their flagship. Absolutely. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but interesting, interesting stuff in, yeah, the, in the world of like deals and TV stuff. And yeah, da -da. there's a lot of a lot of TV deal stuff going on right now. They, they also, like to see it. They also announced um, for, oh, did I write it down somewhere? Hold on. Um, it had to do with Raw. You might know what I'm talking about. You mm -hmm. might have seen it. But oh, here it is. Um, on Raw, where I mean, it was on, I, whatever, um, Joe Tessitore revealed that from october 7th through the company's exit mm -hmm. from usa uh from usa network in december w raw will move to two hours from 8 to 10 p.m can i tell you something about this so this is like a weird thing that like people have been 
a lot of people have been asking for them to cut raw from three to two hours for i would i would say we are i would say we are two of those people but right now in this moment in time i think it's actually not great that they cut down to two hours okay because it's their roster they're killing it it's so stacked and it's like three hours is a long time i get it but just think about like there are a handful of superstars that fight to even get on a three hour sure, show and now sure. it's like you're cutting away an hour and it's sure. like you're taking away a lot mm-hmm. of slots for these guys that fight for get to get tv time now on the other hand like a company like AEW, and kind of like what what i like about dynamite is they don't have everyone you don't they're like let's say like a dean amber i'm just throwing dean ambrose sure. out there as an example like a top star it might not be on the show every single week but that can be good because it's like okay like you're not I don't want to say watered down, but mm-hmm. it's like you. It makes their appearances more special. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And like kind of like in an instance where oh, shit. Roman Mox Reigns on the or show. something. Oh, shit. But like right. Roman Reigns obviously is a little right. bit more spread out. Um, I like the idea that like they can do something like that. Like in, like Jey Uso. Let's say he's wrestling one week and the next week they have a video package for him. Like he's sure. not wrestling. You can do things like that. But I think we're at a time point where like it is funny how for a long time we were asking them to go from three to two. Right. And now it's like. I saw a lot of uh, of uh, backlash pushback mm. on online where it's like th- we're at a time now where like we prefer three hours. It's like Raw's been on fire been the last few months. I I so I definitely agree. I think more so like selfishly, I'm still in the camp of like I think two hours, two hours like, is still like, is the viewing perfect, and stuff like a right, casual right. fan I, is great. I think it is the perfect length for wrestling show. Mm-hmm. But I but I totally agree. It's like it's gonna suck because it's gonna be. People like, a, you know, a, a Fire in Dawn yeah. or an Apollo Dragon Crews Lee, yeah. or a Dragon Lee yeah. or a Santos mm-hmm. or whatever who are kind of like in the mid card who, like you said, are examples of people who like do fight to get on TV. Yep. And when they when they do get on TV, they show like this is why I need to be on TV. But like you said, if you're cutting 60 minutes, you know, uh, 20, 15 to 20 minutes of those are commercials right, or yeah, whatever. 100%. Uh, so you're already you're already fighting for time. Yeah, that. Are yeah, they going to cut? The, think about that too. It's only like right. really an hour and a half, an hour forty of actual television. Right. Are they going to cut the Cody Rhodes or Randy Orton segment, or are they right. going to cut? You know, what I, I mean? think. Yeah, like it's. I would only hope do, they'd find a way to balance it out because I do really believe that two hours is the right and perfect that's amount a, of time. That's a sweet spot. But you're right. Three hours does give us time to like see the full roster and see you know if the roster wasn't as stacked as it was, I'd yeah. say whatever i i do think too maybe it can kind of have people maybe appreciate the three hours Mm. a little bit more when they because this is only for two months when they go back to netflix it will be three hours um but you know Mm. there's other things going around too that like they're cutting back on a lot of house shows and live shows yes i've seen that they're i like that i think i I forget who it was i don't know if it was nick Khan, but he was like we went from three to 250 this year next year we're gonna go down to 200 yeah like events which is like great it gives you know, rest there's more time to heal up, right. you know, be with their families. Yeah, I'm whatever. definitely I'm definitely pro that. So pro it'll be West interesting to see. And I've also seen like going to two hours, like a lot of the production people and stuff like that, like one less hour. It's kind of beneficial, whatever. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it'll be interesting to see how they kind of do it with Netflix. Netflix, there's probably gonna be ads, but I don't think it's gonna be anything crazy. No. I think it will be I think like, we'll just get regular commercials like we get. hundred percent. Maybe a little less, but like So I, I just think Again, I do agree two hours is like a great spot, like a sweet spot for wrestling, like for a show. But it does. It is unfortunate that you do miss out on a lot of other great wrestling and stories and stuff. With that said, though, I wonder I wouldn't be surprised, especially uh, with this week or uh, sorry, I'm getting my get my dates together Um, with it being NXT, SmackDown and Raw on the same network. And we, you know, we talk about the draft all the time. And the draft is null and void here. I think to to compensate for the lack of hour, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe some people get moved over to SmackDown. Rug, yeah, we're yeah. already seeing like the Street Profits are going to be on right. NXT. Mm-hmm. So I think we're already going to see kind of like yeah. the diversifying. Yeah, so I sure. think that's going to be like the biggest thing that helps. Like, okay, we have an hour less. We have an hour less on Raw. SmackDown's in the rebuilding right. stage. Let's send X, Y, and yeah, Z I over mean, there. Randy you know and I mean? CM Punk are already confirmed to be on nxt like the first two weeks right, of the show. right. i think jade and bianca are going to be there one of the first episodes as well so yeah no I, I i can see that as well um all right well we we can move on here i okay. want to i want to do a quick quick note this feels like it would be a patreon topic but nay um i watched a documentary 
yeah. YouTube documentary that, that I want I want to tell you about. It's by this user Wrestling Colin. Okay. On YouTube, makes a bunch of. I only watched one so far, but I want to watch a few more of his videos. Or no, I'm sorry, I watched two of his videos. But he makes a lot of like call it underground. A lot of them are based on uh japanese wrestling history okay and not even like the like like it's not just new japan it's a lot of smaller promotions so i watched this one video called the greatest pro wrestler who ever lived died in the ring and it's all about this wrestler and i i know so little about japanese wrestling and the history of it yeah and and i'm what you know i know we have a wrestling podcast and the all the wrestling podcast is supposed to be, oh, I know everything about wrestling. I know that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not over here. Not over here. It's fine to admit you don't know something. You have to you have to learn something from we somewhere. Can, we can live with it. So this yep. is all about, I'm going to get the first name wrong, but Mitsuharu Misawa. Okay. And basically, he was a, he was a legend in all Japan pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get some facts wrong, but like they were the competitor to New Japan. And he was this like uh, young guy who really grew in the ranks, loved wrestling, eventually took over the company, uh, All Japan Pro, and there's a whole story saga about that and the former rest, the former boss's wife. There's a whole yeah. thing about that. Um, but it dives into, like, uh, 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 his struggles with it. And I want to say this was in the late 80s, early 90s, maybe deeper into the 80s. I'm not really sure. And obviously, you know, things with dealing with injuries and... Uh, uh, back in the day, it was all about like, you know, oh, oh, you're hurt, you fight through it, yeah. and you, mm-hmm. you know, you, you don't stop wrestling until this. And he until was the dead, and he was the biggest star, so it was always pressure for him to like be on the show. Yeah, and when he wasn't on the show, ticket sales mm. and whatever would go down. Mm, so he had this, on him. yeah, he had this fear of not working. He ended up forming. Um, he's the creator of Noah. Oh, um, over okay. in Japan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where, where very recently, notably, Bronson Reed is from. Yep. Um, the Tiger Driver '91 came from Misawa. Mm, so I've, I'm lear- I'm watching this and I'm learning all this history, yeah. and then you know they make a reference to like you know most notably like Will Osprey used right. on Kenny and right. all this stuff. Um, he was also under the Tiger Mask. I think he was Tiger Masks too. Okay. Which again, there's a whole like you know we we learned with Eddie and yeah. like whatever that quiz of yep. um, I think that's Black Tiger or something where there's like all these lineages yeah. of like all these characters and um, but anyway, long story short, the the, the spoilers in the title of the, of, the, <laughs> of the thing, but he you know the classic story of you're getting old, your body can't take it. He's had surgeries and 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 with the work rate he was at, he was just killing himself. So the story ends with uh, final match. A guy hits, uh, uh, I forget what move it was. It was some sort of like suplex or some sort of whatever where Misawa ended up kind of landing like on his back, shoulders on the back of his mm-hmm. neck. And it was like the straw broke the camel's back that took him out. Really? Died right there in the ring. Damn. And, you know, like, and, 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 you know, EMTs and whatever were there. And um, so a lot came out of this instant where one, safety protocols. 100%. One, they would have, because they didn't have a doctor. They were in when they were in the ring trying to like I don't know, resuscitate him or whatever. Everyone was yelling, "Is there a doctor in the room?" So they didn't have a doctor on, on there. So like that was the start for having like on staff like doctors at ringside. Um, that really kind of kind of started the culture of like, hey, maybe like take care of yourself and don't work through an injury yeah, and take yeah, time yeah. off and things will be okay. Um, but yeah, it was a really, and I, I'm leaving out a ton. It's really worth watching for anyone listening out there. Um, again, it's by wrestling call and I want to shout out him. Um, I watched, like I said, I watched a few more other documentaries that are really good, but man, good stuff. And it's, it, it's, it, it showed you how I didn't know anything about this guy. Yeah. And now watching it, it's like, oh, he's like one, he's one of the best, but he's also one of the most important Inf- figures influential. and influential yeah, is a great sure. word. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was, no, it was it really, really, yeah, I'll have to check it out. It's interesting. It's it's only. I mean, it's like a. I don't know how long it is. Like a half hour, forty minutes, something like that. Good stuff, and it's really well done. Um, oh yeah. So shout out, shout out, wrestling Colin. Everyone go, um, go 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 check, check that out. out. But uh, but uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll move on to. There's not a. It's not an easy transition to this next one, but, <laughs> but Giovanni Vinci from from a Japanese great. Uh, yeah, to Giovanni Vinci. Yeah, uh, loses to Apollo Cruz in seconds in his re debut. You can call it. 
I kind of love it. I, I'm glad you said it. I, I don't kinda, know if this is a hot take. I love it. I kind of love it. I, I don't love know. It. People are like kind of mm-hmm. being uh, like, oh, they hyped him up. They had a video package. He was like kissing. Girls were kissing him on the way to the ring and stuff. Right. Just for him to lose. It's like he's 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 uh, showed as like this hot shot and this fucking, oh. you know, he's given the, the Ric Flair treatment. Yeah, of who was it? There was someone in recent years Gucci that track got like suit. squashed. And like people were freaking out about it, but like the person like was ended up being I forget who it was. Okay, yeah, I don't but, remember. Um, it's like he was taking his jacket off, like he wasn't ready. It's not like right. he was like standing there ready to go, and it was pinned like that would make him look weak. This like kind of makes him look like he wasn't prepared, mm-hmm. like he was like off car off guard a little bit. I, I definitely think there's a story to be told here, and that will be told here. I don't. Yeah. I think people are just kind of the initial freak out of like oh they hyped him up to lose it's like i think they have something planned here i think this this was the only thing they could have done that got me invested sure we've seen the vignettes and i haven't given a shit at least like you if, know? like if he won it would have been like okay like he won cool but like what's the direction for him at least with this to like you kind of sense like okay like they have something right. planned for him they have something interesting going maybe i'm being overly mean but but He's just not that guy. Yeah, he does. He's not that guy. Yeah, not to be mean, but there's nothing like about him that stands out that makes me think like that's a star or anything right. like that. Like he's great in the ring. His NXT gimmick, which is kind of like it's similar mm-hmm. to what his NXT gimmick was, like really worked and it was solid. And I liked him in Imperium, but I just don't you know? know. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna be on the main roster. Which now it's seeing maybe all that stuff was ironic. Mm -hmm. And I don't want him to be a comedy act, and I don't think that's what they're doing. But this got me invested, where it's like they're doing all the -the over-the-top stuff and the classic, oh, he's the hot shot, and all the girls love him, and blah, blah, blah. And uh, and then to lose out the gate, and maybe they are going comedy. I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Uh, But but this, I thought, I thought it was great. I I cared. Or I I have interest. Sure. Where if he won, he could have dominate apollo cruz yeah and i wouldn't give a shit you know yeah so hell yeah i'm, I'm curious yeah, I'm, to see I'm, we'll I'm, probably see on smackdown with what they do I but uh, i'm cool with it like yeah. we'll, we'll see where it ends up but i thought it was i was cracking up i was like no shit. no i just thought that it happened. was like ironic how yeah they hyped him i up, loved and it. then just for him to like have the eye off the take his eye off the ball for a second and that's i think it's happens. i think it's smart yeah um all right something something a little more um, impressive. The Wyatt Six Ooh. defeat American Made. This was a ball and a half. <laughs> so had a I, good time. So I, this was Monday, and we were watching TV, and I was like flicking through like uh, like the pregame for football and sure. stuff, and then Raw started. So I I put it on. It was like probably five minutes in, and it was when they were making the entrance, and I put it on the TV, and Taylor was like on her phone. She looks up. She goes, "What the fuck is on the TV?" Right now? <laughs> and I was like, "Cause we went to Raw months ago," and I was like, "Oh yeah, I was like, right." Do you the, oh, I was like, "Do you yeah. remember the the scary monster?" She goes, "Yeah," and I was this like, "There the they thing. are." She goes, "Okay," and then she like looked back. That <laughs> I was like, so "I can explain." I was like, "I can explain it to you if you want." She goes, eh, "It's okay." She goes, I, I, "I've seen enough." I'm like, "All right, <laughs> said, I'm good." But no, that match was a lot of fun. I had a it ball. It was a ball, just like super like. It's just really nice. Like, I know they had a match before and stuff, but it was really cool to see, like, how they can be presented, like, these big scary monsters. But they take all, they strip all that away and right. can put on solid matches. And there's still fighters and their wrestlers exactly. and, like, the, the mythical stuff, or whatever. They're doesn't calling overshadow. them by their names Dexter Loomis, Nikki Cross. Like, right. it's like we know who they are. Right. It's I like, we're not, we're, not, we're not hiding. Like, we mm-hmm. don't. But then there's, I like, love it. There's at least the added psychological stuff of like well that's ta- that's not the eric well eric rowan we knew right but it's still eric rowan yeah exactly. but it's not you know it's what I mean? like you, you still have that like not even supernatural effect but you still have that like scary presentation but also right. realistic of being like yeah these mm-hmm. these are humans though, yeah they're real people i'm glad i think it added a lot that it was a street fight so they could mm-hmm. just fucking carnage hell yeah um i had a good time I don't, I don't have much else to say about this i'm just i am I am on board. I don't really know where the general public is. I think the general public's into it. I feel like this has this feud's got to be over now. American yeah. Made and Wyatt Six. I feel like they had their matches. They had their their six mans. They had the Howdy Gable. Now they had the the four way match. I would think. Um, I'm definitely. I saw some speculation online. Maybe like uh, I don't know about bad blood, but like uh, you know, kind of pivot into maybe a Judgment Day feud the Wyatt six sure. maybe i don't know i think the next few weeks maybe we see like video packages sure. of them kind of like hinting mm-hmm. at who the next i know like dakota 
had like the logo in the mm. background, but she's out. She's injured now. So like, I don't think that'll really happen. I mean, listen, if they want to play the gimmick of Emily and like whatever, like there's a lot of people on the roster that they I mean, could Judgment really Day with after. Dom. Like, judgment judgment Day. That's, why, that's why Judgment Day fits and, like, so well. I'm thinking down the line, like a bloodline thing sure. is very yep. possible. Seth Rollins thing is possible. I yep. mean, if we're like looking back in, in history, like with the shield mm-hmm. and everything, there's a lot of people that they can go after. Who's next though? I don't know. I think maybe maybe in the meantime, you know, if you're figuring out the next feud or whatever, have like a, you know, a tag matches or some Eric Rowan versus so and so. Yeah, like maybe just have, have some wrestle. backstage like interaction. Sure. Being like you guys are weird. It's like I'll show you weird in the ring. And then yeah. Um all right. Where do we want to I wanna go to we have a couple more stuff. Like Rhea and Liv got out for bad blood. We know we knew this. that was gonna happen. Um um it was a pretty run-of-the-mill week i i want to give some time to some all out yeah for sure excuse me oh excuse me um i'll tell you this I before we go to before we go to all out said I, it's because it's funny um julia has her first match on nxt defeats chelsea green she did now i'll tell you this yeah so i was at the red Sox game tuesday Correct. we know this now had a, as cody would put it had a few more libations at fenway park than i was anticipating uh-huh it was miscommunication on our part. I would come back with two beers. My buddy would be mid buying beers from the beer guy. Mm. All of a sudden, we got like six beers. That happens. And I said, happens who am to I to, it. you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to waste any of these. Feeling good. My friends leave. Or no, I'm sorry. I put on, because I knew NXT was then, and I was like, oh, I got to catch up. So I put on, uh, uh, I think it was like, I think they put it on YouTube, the full match. Right? So I put on Julia versus Chelsea Green. Kind of just sat here, just kind of trying to watch it. <laughs> Don't remember a damn thing. Also, my friends were here. We're kind of watching it. My friends leave. You're just and I'm still I'm still kind of in my state, right? And I'm like, and I'm like, I didn't watch any of that Julia Chelsea Green match. Like, I want to watch. I want to for the pod. I want. I want to be brushed up on it. So I watched it again. (laughs) Like five minutes later, I restart the match. Watch the whole thing. Not my state of mind wasn't different. So I'm still kind of just like watching it <laughs> still okay i got got nothing so i tried watching it twice and i don't i that's not that's not i won't be clear it's not the quality of the match that is me yeah but what i got from it i had a good time watching it i was not you know what i mean <laughs> great time i enjoyed myself i don't have many takeaways uh-huh, from it but uh-huh. i i i liked it yeah no. i'm glad julia won she looks I, sick i saw like kind of highlights and like the closing of the match and everything. I, I unfortunately did not uh, watch NXT this week. But yeah, man, I mean, just... You can sit, argue me neither. Sit, you, can you know, argue I, I can say neither, the same you know thing. I mean? You know, lights on, no one's home. <laughs> it's just... What impresses me is just how how well they're presenting her and yes. how, like, they're just making such a big deal out of her, which is, like, that's what you want out of... Th- this has been, you know, anticipated for almost a year at this point. Um, she's such a hyped-up signee and everything. Like, she was... You know, there was a who's going to get her WWE or AEW type of thing. And right. WWE won the bidding war, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's cool to see that they're really like putting so much time and effort into her. Mm-hmm. I said it last week. I'm still in the camp of she's winning the NXT Women's Championship so. when I she faced so. Ross Sand. I just think like I this isn't someone run. that you you want to like slow like. She's so good. You don't need to be like, oh, she needs to have that loss. Like, welcome to WWE. We're like, you're going to lose, but you'll get there type of thing. Right. Like, no, like have her win her first match. Let her fucking be who she is. Yeah. And you figure it out along the way. But yeah, man, I mean, Chelsea Green's also a fantastic Perfect. First. Like Perfect. from what I did see, like you want someone that is because Julia has this reputation to be hard hitting. Sure. The style of wrestling. Chelsea Green's bit. She she's a vet. She knows like, her shit. She's a vet, and she can sell the shit out of anything. Right. Perfect first opponent for her. The moves that I saw her take, it looked like she was killing her. Yeah. So a uh, great start. And I, it's a I, main I, roster name, so exa- you get yeah, that first exa- win. It's not right. like a like a new up and coming NXT star. And I'm not trying to like say say anything bad about their division. That they have a fantastic. But it wasn't division, a jobber. But it, it wasn't a jobber. Which is good. Like yeah. everyone knows who Chelsea Green is. Right. Um. All right. Let's go over to man. I want to talk about Swerve and Hang, man. Sure. Jesus sure, dude. Christ. Yeah, there's a lot of opinions Whoa. on this match. A lot of opinions on this match. My only opinion is I loved it. I, I had a great I, time. So the thing is, uh-huh. and so I was kind of pretty like 
torn of like my initial reaction. Really? To okay. Because like I did love it, uh-huh. but at the same time, it there were parts of it that was uncomfortable to watch. Right? But See, let me explain. Sure. So like. It's a style of wrestling that you're not going to see typically on on televised show programming, sure. whether it's a weekly Raw or SmackDown or a PLE, whatever it may mm-hmm, be. Mm-hmm. Just because something might be uncomfortable doesn't mean it's bad. And that's sure. why I want people, to, my, I don't yeah, want yeah, people yeah. to like twist me saying uncomfortable, meaning I didn't like it. Right. Just because it's different and you don't see it a lot. And it makes it uncomfortable doesn't mean it's bad. I think for because people have there are complaints of like AW just they have guys bleed all the time for like no good reason. Uh-huh. It's like not necessary. Sometimes there are spots where it's like, I don't know if this match needed <laughs> yeah, it or yeah. whatever, right? But like there was the, one spot that happened. I forget what match it was, but someone like popped up and they're bloody. And I was like, I don't know if that I forget what it was. But, but like but there yeah, are instances ahead. where it's like you feel like I don't know if they had to go that yeah. far. For a match like this. Yes, like he did put a syringe, he did put a needle in his mouth. Uh-huh. The the cement block moves oh my just God, that was crazy. I couldn't wrap my mind him, around him catching the corner. Oh, uh, both of them. Hang, both of them, yeah, hangman yeah, yeah. getting it on his back and then just seeing it swerves back. Oh my god. And then god. the chair shot, like yes, it can be uncomfortable and it's a little like, oh like you're watching mm-hmm. whatever. But that's a match where that's necessary obviously mm-hmm. let's just to all the people out there saying it's unsafe it's this and that brother like there is so many <laughs> like in the history of wrestling go back and watch a 90s ecw match sure. and tell me if you're uncomfortable watching that <laughs> like people in history have done worse than what Heyman and swerve did it was uncomfortable and it was gruesome at times but it was perfect for their feud and like they're protected. They're professionals. They know what they're doing. There wasn't a disease in that syringe. Like, it was empty. Like, there was nothing in there. Was, to get ahead of it, it was a gimmick chair. Yeah, it and it was a, a gimmick yeah, chair yeah, yeah. as well. Like, there, there wasn't a real chair. So, that's... I, I want to make it clear. There were times where I was kind of like, I don't know if I... I'm a fan of that. <laughs> yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it was Is perfect too for the much? match. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was ultimately, like... It, it got people talking about it. Sure. And that's what you want. And not for nothing, they were selling the shit out of it. They had the the post scrum. The only one there was Tony. Mm. Because there was like three people that you could have argued died mm-hmm. during the show. And it's like they, they did a great job of delivering the show. And that match was in fucking sane. Yeah, my, um, my take on it has kind of always been my take. And it's similar to like we've talked about like, you know, like 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 some some A24 movies that like like hereditary I think mm-hmm. you said you saw yeah, recently yeah. Mm-hmm. and you're watching it and you can say that about like a midsummer or uh the witch or uh, this other you know um and you're watching it and it's making you uncomfortable and it's making you have like almost like a visceral reaction sure. or a physical reaction and that's what I like about it and I think that might be why this is getting like psychological but <laughs> this is why our brains are the way they are but yeah. I think people people are uncomfortable with feeling uncomfortable, right? Sure, yeah. So I sure. think that's why a lot of people will watch like a Hereditary or a Midsummer, and they're like, "This is making me feel uncomfortable. I don't like this because they're scared of feeling." And you know what? Right? I feel like this match. I mean, interrupt you, but but no, no, Hangman, no. Hangman and Swerve made you feel something. Mm-hmm. It didn't make you feel how. Uh, not comparing them, but how like an Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, or a Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair felt, mm-hmm. where you felt a different emotion. Right, sure. But mm-hmm. I think, and this is the same with you go and see a movie, a play, a musical act, whatever. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think f- uh, an emotion coming out of you, be it happy, sad, or uncomfortable, is still like, and I think there's a thin, I want to say like all, like, like not it's not a blanket statement where it's like all uncomfortable feeling is good. That's not what I'm saying at all. Yeah. But, but I think just like it giving that reaction, that feeling and feeling real something and, and, and evoking even this conversation, I think adds to it. Cause it's yeah. like, Oh, that That's was, the goal. that was, that was that. And you got to think about it. I don't know how I felt about it, which I think makes it better. And I think people are quick to write it off. Cause mm-hmm. they're like, they stop at that. It made me feel uncomfortable. And they're like, I'm out because but, I don't want to feel that. Yeah. You know what I no, mean? I, I, I don't think it's a agree. bad thing to feel that and way. And I think what I was going to say was, and I'm not trying to be stereotypical or be or trying to 
paint like casual fans or WWE fans, but I feel like most of the people, and I, I could be wrong, this is just my judgment, hey, whatever. I feel like vibes episode. most people that were uncomfortable or like shitting on it, because there sure. were a lot of people that were like, this is disgusting, like whatever, wow. like, I'm not watching this anymore. Wild. I think a lot of those people or a good amount of those people are fans that are more casual fans and might sure. be more used to the WWE product. And maybe they're only watching the the, the pay-per-view events for AEW. Yeah, so, so it's, it's like, like you yeah, watch yeah. Raw and SmackDown every week, but you're only going to watch AEW for their pay-per-views. And you watch this pay-per-view and you're like, what the fuck? It's a you know, hard it, shit. It's, it's a, a hard, hard shit. And yeah, AEW's yeah, yeah. been around. I know it's just been five years, but they've had a lot of like gruesome matches. Like sure. they have the blood and guts. They have like all this shit, whatever, where it's like AEW fans are like, yeah, this is a maybe a step above. Like I've never seen them put a needle in his mouth <laughs> Shit before. Was crazy. But like we're we've I've seen mocks with fucking things shooting out right, of his you know right. it's like this isn't new to us is right. how far that yeah, like this is a new step, but like we know that they can go pretty far. Mm. I feel like um and again, I'm not trying to like put people like stereo like be stereotypical or whatever, but I feel like most of the people that were uncomfortable with this or didn't like it the most were more casual, true WWE fans and than those hardcore are, wrestling fans. And those are going to be the louder voices that post, like, you know, on Twitter, this is disgusting. And then the and lights Everyone's get entitled up to their opinion. Sure. But I think that's, you don't have to like it. That's the thing. You don't, the, ha- you don't have to you like You just have to know why you don't like ex- it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> has an opinion. Just because you didn't like this match doesn't mean, like, mm-hmm. it's not a negative thing. You just didn't like the match. And that's sure. fine. But it's like, it's. It's, it's don't be so, afraid to feel something yeah it's like feel. it's uncomfortable but like it's wrestling and it's that's what makes aw stand out that's what makes them different mm. than wwe and it, hey again they're professionals if these guys want to do it they're gonna do it you know? and yeah uh, no one I, died everyone's good I so think, i think yeah i think uh uh, uh just to, just to give a little a little praise to out of the out of the explanation but yeah, I mean, I mean, I the the fucking needle, dude. Holy shit! Yeah, that was, he was fucking. He took his grills out and just like. Ah. I think I genuinely, I think the the spot that did it for me was when he power bombed Swerve on the cement block. That was that, crazy. I genuinely looked away. That was crazy. Because then they did like the slow, and it was just like seeing his back arch on it, and mm-hmm. I'm like, there's no way to like I, listen. There, there's no even if it was a gimmick cement block, <laughs> like the way that your back bends for anything like that, like that fucking I, hurts. I cringed more when when Swerve took the bump because he caught the edge oh, of the oh, cement block. And you mean no? When Swerve took the bump, when Swerve landed on it, Swerve yeah, caught what, the edge. Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. Remember, you said, you said Swerve, Hangman. Swerve had him in the reverse. Oh, you mean Hangman. Move. Sorry, Hangman power bombed him. Yes, that's oh, I'm why. Sorry. That's what I, I, I meant. That's what I meant. That, that's probably what you said. Yeah, I, yeah, I got yeah. confused. Um, I mean, both of them because both Hang, them were crazy. Hangman's back. He had the fucking mark on it from. Oh, yeah. oh no, that shit. And then the 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 chair. Kudos to that. Like the chair again. I you know say what you will about about the chair shot. It was a it was a gimmick chair yeah. and whatever. Um, there's still an argument there. I understand. I understand but it as well. We're gonna just zoom out and whatever. Like, how else are you gonna fucking end it? They burned Bam. this guy's house down last week. Bam. Yeah, I mean he's got done. Done. You know what I was I thinking? Was crazy. Watching this back, I'm thinking in my head like, at some point in the match, like they they got going like early on, like they had they they were, they were fighting before the cage even dropped, but like. I was thinking, like, once they started getting bloody and, like, you started watching, it's like, this starts to feel like a real fight. There's got to be something that clicks in their head where it's like, oh, fuck, like, we're in it now. Like, we're, <laughs> yeah. like, we're fighting now <laughs> yeah, type yeah, of yeah. thing. You know what? It's like, once you see the cement block come out or you sure. start to see the staple gun come out, it's like, all right, here we go. God, the like, staple gun is always the, so crazy. The picture and but, stapling it to his face, but, dude. Yep, uh, yep. Him just, like, Swerve was taking like, out the on staples. camera, just taking them out. <laughs> Oh man! Crazy. Hey, I Swerve just signed a brand new contract. One of the highest yep. paid wrestlers ever. Fuck! If I got signed all that money, I would probably would put on a performance like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Someone too. said, "Hey, you want to take a staple gun to the chest?" I'd be like, "Oh, yeah." Sure, if you're paying you know? me a few million a year, I'll um, do it. Uh, 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 what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Yeah, new contract. Oh, oh. Apparently, word is and well deserved. But now he's being kind of like that was him kind of getting written off. He's gonna take some time off. Should, Swerve is should take some time um, off, which I think is needed. Also, you know, be off TV for a while. Take your well earned vacation. Hey, I'll tell you what. I think he's had one of the greatest runs in recent memory in AEW. Sure. Yeah. You know? No, no argument deserved. For me. Yeah, definitely deserves a little bit of a break. That is one good way to write someone off for a little bit mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. interested to see if they um 
kind of go their separate ways. I would love whenever, you know, give Storm some time off. I would love to see Hangman get back into the world championship picture. Sure. At some point, I would love for them to revisit their feud. Absolutely. For the belt, whatever. Absolutely. I, I think Hangman, this character with that belt mm-hmm. would be sick. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them touch again for a year. Yeah. But like, yeah. you know, like you said, Hangman gets the title picture again. Maybe he wins the title, whatever. Swerve return. That's a that's a reignite, you know, sure. reignite. Hey, let's, look, let's look toward uh, forward to all in next year. Hangman Swerve. Honestly, let's do um, it. All right. Brian Danielson and Jack Perry. Fun match. Good match. Good, good match. Jack I think Perry anyone was selling his fucking ass off. Yeah, this was sick. Um, again, as as a W is, is good at doing some some close calls, some near yep. falls, some kicking out of finishers. Yep. Um, I don't have much else to say about the match. I think Perry held his own. Yeah, for sure. Um, more so what I do have uh, to talk <laughs> about is afterward. Oh, we were waiting for it. We were hoping it. John Moxley mm. comes in. The storytelling, the characters in this was so good. John Moxley comes in uncharacteristically, gives Brian Danielson a hug, all this stuff. Yeah. Takes him out. And I think the MVP, maybe not the MVP, but a highlight of this was Wheeler fucking Yuta. The emotion. Screaming so for his mentor mm. and Pac holding him back screaming for his mentor screaming at moxley why and this that and the other da, da, da. um really good uh uh fucking <laughs> and again we were talking about un, uh being uncomfortable but yeah. choking him with the yeah, plastic yeah, yeah. That's, that's the crowd was chanting this is murder <laughs> yeah you're shit that is correct <laughs> that was that, crazy that is what you would call murder that was nuts yeah 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 talk about the other controversial thing that happened uh that may have made some people uncomfortable yeah that is definitely another way to um take someone out for a, for a little bit even though they announced uh danielson might be having a match in a few weeks but right uh yeah man i think the the setup, i mean unexpected mm-hmm. i was not expecting that at all um cesaro i i loved like cesaro hits the uppercut and then mm-hmm. danielson just goes down like doesn't like Yes, he no sold it, but it was like in a shot, like he was just yeah. in shock. It was like he was like the adrenaline was there, so he didn't like feel the impact of it. He was just like more confused yeah. of what was happening. Yeah, and then yeah. Before Stand he could collect his thoughts and emotions, gets a bag oh wrapped my around God. his head and, and almost gets murdered. Here's here's my critique about the title picture right now, and we kind of talked about it for a couple of weeks. Like, I love I, th- I love this direction. This is kind of what we were hoping for, and I like the way they're doing it. Um, but you have you had a you had a promo with Christian mm-hmm. on Dynamite. He has the contract. Yeah. And he's we, like, I hope Brie Bella has CT years. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't remember how uh, awful your reign was or whatever it was. So we thought like the contract's a little unclear. Cause now it's starting to seem it's a like money in the bank. It's kind of what it seems like now. Yeah. And then which I didn't understand this. We'll talk about the promo a little bit more, but to just jump ahead into it. Mox was talking about Darby, and I I, I forget forgot what. Yeah. How did Darby win the did title? Did he shot? win some a match or something? I don't like remember a qualifier match. I don't remember. I honestly but forgot. Too. It was news to me that Darby had a title shot promised because that <laughs> led that was the whole thing with Mox. To and me, whatever. Darby Allen was like one guy I had in my mind where it was like he could be the guy to beat danielson at some point sure i would definitely have hoped they would at least face and then you have nigel mcginnis announcing he's facing danielson at grand slam whenever that is in a week or two two weeks or something so it's like yeah Yeah, there's like i i love how there's like people lined up and everything but it's everyone's chomping at the bit it is confusing and being like he gets he has a shot but also he has a shot but this guy there's different things fighting before all of them right there's different things already lined up mox wants the shot and i don't think it discredit like it doesn't discredit the nigel match like yes like danielson's gonna win just because they're setting all this stuff out uh, up just because they're setting all this stuff up i don't think discredits it necessarily okay so they what said do you win? if um so darby and mox are fighting at wrestle dream or no they're fighting at um grand slam grand slam and uh, wait what oh hold on yeah 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 at grand slam and whoever wins that match gets to fight no, I know that, but what oh, I'm saying okay. is I don't know where yeah. Darby got I'm his looking, original I'm promise I'm looking up from. right now, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Darby? Earned... My guess is it's from some gauntlet match or something he won. So right? I guess his match was supposed to be at Grand Slam, and they were said 
Danielson can't because of the attack, but he's also fighting McGinnis at Grand Slam, so that's kind of confusing. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to... I'm, I can't find any tweets or anything. Yeah. I forget what the match was. I just don't know why he was promised it. Hmm. I don't remember. I don't know. But yeah, anyway... neither. Um, regardless, though, uh, uh, outside of, of it all, like I do like... Like you said, I do like that everyone's chomping at the bit yeah, to get too. him. But it is a little confusing we we're gonna have christian eventually but the mock stuff is more interesting the nigel match we needed but it's kind of in the middle of all this other shit right. uh regardless 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 we'll jump to mock's promo to kind of tie this all in yep. um mock says they formed blackpool combat club to have something bigger than themselves and take over together it says AEW is full of egos kind of maybe hinting that danielson is kind of a part of that group now and i don't fully get like I get, he said, like you know, this isn't democracy anymore. He goes, he mentions our mentor, uh, which I, he didn't mention by name, but he was bringing you know, up mentor. I thought yeah. it was really cool. He goes, "I'm the one true king of these lands. We tried your way, Brian. Diplomacy has failed. Today I choose war." I don't fully. I think this is more a me thing. I don't fully get it. I love it. <laughs> I love yeah. it. But I don't get, and maybe we'll get more it more explained. Whereas like. What's his problem with Danielson? Is it just that, like, because, like, I, I like the I'm the one true king. Right. But he did say earlier, like, we were in this together. I don't know if it's just, like, the fact that he went out on his own. Right. I think maybe what I've kind of told myself, it's the fact that, like, they've kind of been a group that didn't care about titles. Right. And they've been, like, we just want to, we, we want to own this fucking company. Yeah. We want to be the people. And then mox kind of said that their values have changed mm. so maybe it's like oh Danielson, now all of a sudden you want to be the guy and you want to be the world title that's not what blackpool combat club was for but like that's my guess but like mox had the world championship obviously at one point cesaro right. was like the roh champ they're the trios champ so right now right and stuff so it, yeah yeah i'm kind of like in my head just thinking like it could just be like a a jealousy thing like yeah you're the world champ right. now and you think you're higher than mm -hmm. us like type of thing taking them and out. even with the i'm true king where like at, at minimum you can boil it down to like N i thought we were in this together now you're the guy no 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 i'm the fucking and wasn't guy, there like know? something i saw on twitter it was like when regal was an aw still and he was kind of like alluding to like someone that would like turn on or like there's someone in the group that so could, whatever so mox kind of mentioned that in his promo when mm -hmm. he was talking about his mentor or the mentor and they said he said that basically danielson was the one that was like handpicked by regal he was the golden boy regal called him the perfect professional wrestler yeah. mm -hmm. but then mox said like however uh uh regal has always told me that he sees me and him and regals had the history of being the heel and the one right, right. so there's a little bit like wow wow our mentor calls you the greatest i'm more like our mentor where yeah, i'm yeah. the you know what i mean i think that's kind of what the base of yeah, it was yeah, yeah. so like it's all i i need them to kind of mold it a little better for me sure. but like everything's there everything is and there I we just gotta it. clean up some stuff yeah and make things a little bit make it make sense that led into, uh, you know, he's with, he's talking to Darby. He's calling out, this, this I got, this I love. He's calling out Darby. Uh, he's like, which I kind of thought this was what the Danielson thing was going to mm -hmm. lean on was like, basically he was like, you're not ready. Yes. So you weren't give ready me the five title years shot. Ago, yep. You weren't ready two years ago. He even said, I love you, but you're not ready. And Darby did this whole thing with just like that, I, you know, I've wanted to be you and this uh, thing and whatever. That right there is an indication that like he's gonna win a world championship soon. I Darby, think, yeah, I think. I mean, that's a cosign, right? I think right? that yeah. line is like you're not, you're not good enough. Where it's like we're gonna build off of that. Yeah. Like, not saying Darby will beat Mox in a few weeks, whatever, because maybe like they're gonna preserve and they're gonna save Darby. Because sure. I'm thinking of like realistically who could dethrone brian at some point who because i think whoever does beat brian is like kind of like it's a passing of the torch sure. this person's gonna be face of AEW, like a new star like whatever mm. i see guys like wheeler yuda we mentioned yeah i think of guys like darby allen i i think of people like that um garcia that are, garcia maybe that are like deserving of beating him and like he's prepping them to be the next mm. star i don't like i think him and mox will have an unbelievable match, but I don't think that that is like 
the I don't think that's going to be a he's beating him, uh, Mox beating Danielson type of thing. Imagine like in like. One to three years, though, like Mox has the title. Danielson's already, you know, gone. They did yep. the whole thing. It, Darby wasn't the guy, but imagine years from now, like you said, Darby kind of grows into his own. Yeah, beats Mox for the title. I beat you. That's the passing the torch yeah. over there. Absolutely. And, you know, but I, I just think stuff. Darby Allen's just a guy that's a, he's an AEW original. He is one of the pillars. Yeah. It's like it's his time is coming. Um, all right. Well, I think that is the main show, Let's folks. Go. If you want to go over to patreon.com slash dash club wrestling to watch, we're gonna we're gonna talk more. We got more wrestling to talk about, we got more random stuff to talk about. Yeah, I, got we a, do. I got a funny story that, that I got for we you got that, some that funny will funny stories to tell that will um be in the Patreon. But we appreciate everyone for listening. We appreciate you being here, appreciate you subscribing, like and leave a comment, all that stuff. You get it. Um thank you again to DraftKings for sponsoring today's episode. Thank you. And all right, we'll get out of here. Everyone enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend. Everyone yes. be, safe. be safe. And and Have fun. go pets. Go I guess. pets. <laughs> Check us out on Patreon, baby. Boom. Peace. She goes up to go to the bathroom. Yep. Dude Leave, uh, leaves you with the bill. Leaves, leaves you with the bill. And that's the <laughs> climbs, story. Climb to the bathroom yeah. window. <laughs> and that's the story. Never saw her again. Our two just went live on. Oh, is he <laughs> mimicking the Shannon no Sharp thing? No way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop. <laughs> no. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> But then he goes, where's Big Nick? And yep, I'm yep, like, yep, not yep. here, man. I was like.